AI revives Elvis? That's right, folks. Elvis is coming back into the building. We have a company in London is creating something new. It's on our sister publication, AIDaily.us. AIDaily.us is reporting that Elvis is back. That's right, folks. AI is recreating Elvis. Now, let's not stop there, right? Let's recreate all of our past musicians, all of our past celebrities. Why not? Is there any reason why we can't? I mean, AI is, has gotten to such sophistication. And I've talked about this before where we're talking about how if we just had somebody, we probably have enough information about somebody who, somebody who, say, leaves a lot of social traces. There's probably a certain amount of social traces that you can leave out onto the internet or even save in your local repository. You don't even need to post it on the internet. But just the amount of times that you use the internet and put yourself out on the internet and save pictures of yourself and recordings of yourself and videos of yourself, you probably have a nice little database that can encapsulate you. Like if you threw AI against this nice little database of content that you've created about yourself and other people have created about yourself, I would not be surprised if AI could probably take a look at this nice little package of information that you've already created about yourself, your videos, your audios, your your texts, everything, and literally recreate a version of you. And in fact, with the tools that we have today, it could be a version of you that can be sitting behind a screen just like I am and be talking to you directly. This could probably be done with a minimum of information, probably even people who are not super active on the internet but create enough content of their own are able to create, and of course the more content that's being created, the more you put your personality out there and you put your real personality out there, I'm not talking about the fake personalities that most people put out there, is that the most the more you put out your real personality out there, the more chances are that AI is going to be able to accurately recreate you. Now, can it recreate you as a new person? No. I mean, when I was talking, when I talk about AI revolving, reviving Elvis, what do you think AI is going to be able to revive about Elvis? Do you think it's going to be able to revive the whole Elvis, the entire personality of the entertainer? No, of course not. It's going to be able to go back and look at all of his concert footage and all of his music and everything that he's created, everything that was generated, everything that was recorded, and put together a composite of Elvis and then you plug that into a holographic generation engine, and we've already had a holographic character. So I've already, been, I was at a stage once where, where Tupac took the stage, even though he was long dead. We're already at the point now where we can replace individuals within films. What's stopping us from re replacing individuals on stage? We're already, we have already recorded so much of these individuals, and I would argue that somebody like Elvis, it might be difficult to replicate Elvis on stage because probably some of the quality of the recordings are not as good as they could be. Whereas somebody, if over the last 20 years, there's probably amazing HD recordings of these individuals, and you could probably get almost 100% lifelike versions of these people in upcoming concerts. Because if you think about it, already, See, I just, I just thought of this. Is that if you're a celebrity that's alive today and you have high definition visuals of yourself, or even if you're a regular human and you have high definition visuals of yourself, there's nothing stopping you from being immortal. Not physically immortal, of course, but virtually immortal. Other than maybe money. Other than the will and the desire and the cash to be able to maintain your virtual digital persona forever. Human beings are already immortal, just virtually immortal. So let's go back to Elvis. That's right, folks. We're going to be reviving Elvis. AI is reviving Elvis. Well, why not? St why stop there? Let's revive every beloved celebrity of the past. Let's recreate as many as we possibly can. Now, Elvis might be a specific case because he's been highly photographed. I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to, I don't know, bring back Spencer Tracy or Bing Crosby or any of these individuals who 
maybe don't have as much high definition footage of themselves. You might be able to bring back representations of them, but you may not be able to bring them back fully. I mean, didn't we already bring back um, Peter Cushing for for Star Wars, and that was terrible because the CGI was awful? Did that do that again today? It will be amazing. In fact, you could probably recreate the entire cast. You could probably recreate recreate the entire episode four, which was what filmed in the seventies, in a better way for new audiences, right now, and bring back all of those characters at the age that they were when this thing occurred. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's possible. So what do you think about this? Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? That we're going to be seeing pretty accurate representations of individuals who are no longer around. They're no longer with us. But we can get, we, we're going to have as a good enough representation of these individuals that we might be able to actually feel that they're literally in front of us. Now, for somebody who's sitting on standing on stage, would you pay the same amount of money for a ticket? Now, let's say, so here's an example. If you could go to a virtual concert or a real concert where that performer was in front of you, literally, or a virtual uh, concert where that perform, where the virtual version of that performer is in front of you, would you pay the same amount as you would have had the real person be there? Of course, if the real person was available, you would. You you wouldn't you would want to pay more for the real person, right? Because if that's the human being. You get that sensation. But what if AI could duplicate that individual so closely? Would you pay an equal amount of money to see somebody like Elvis on stage than if it was a real Elvis? I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people would say, absolutely, because I want to get that exact experience. I mean, I feel that way about Prince. I never got to see Prince in real life. I'm a huge Prince fan. If they were able to actually create an AI version of Prince that acted exactly the same way, I would probably pay Prince prices for a ticket to that concert. What about you? Would you do the same? Virtual? Real? Does it matter? Would you pay more or less? That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.